Hey everybody, this is Paige from Mosaic Moments and I'm doing another flip through today. So I'm showing my top favorite pages of 2023. So all of the pages were made this year. Now, maybe you're watching this and it's no longer 2023. And that is okay because these pages are timeless and these ideas work in any year you were scrapbooking. So I have a variety of layout ideas and a lot of these actually show some new stuff that came out this year as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So throughout this video, I'm gonna be talking about what makes these pages good and why they're working. So you may wanna take notes if you can and pay attention to the little things I'll talk about with these pages. But this first one, it kind of looks like a Christmassy layout, but it's technically not. It has red and green, but that's because you can see there's this picture of frozen holly. And I have the holly border die. So the colors are based off that. There is a little bit of brown for a nice neutral. But it's themed after the holly. And as you see in the pictures, the holly was all frozen. And so I took the holly borders die and I used stickles on top of them to be the same theme as my photos here. So that's what I love about this layout. I think the colors are great. There's a very nice contrast with this dark green over this brown, and I also used a dark brown over this kind of, this is kind of a medium brown. This is twine or grid paper. And I love this focal point. The pattern paper here helps it stand out. And you notice I did not use that pattern paper anywhere else. It's a very busy pattern paper, I think pattern papers like this work in one spot and don't have to be overused on your layout. And overall, it's a great page. It's very cute, obviously. And again, I loved having those little, the sparkles on the holly border dies to match with my photos. So that's something you can do too. All right, my second layout is this one. This one was really popular with a lot of people and there's a lot of fun things going on here. So first of all, if you've never thought of using the wave border die for winter pages, well, here's an idea for you. Get those out for your winter pages and not just for your summer layouts. But yes, these two are the wave border dies. So obviously, traditionally they're used for beach or lake layouts, but they can be, well, one of them looks like a wave that would be in the water, but there's this option that could be kind of like a snowy mountain or snowy hills, and I got it to work. And I have this fun pattern paper. So the pattern paper I chose had a variety of colors in it, so that added interest to this layout as well. So the light blue one's a different paper from this one, but they're both from the same collection. So two different papers, but I love how there's this multiple colors going on, but they all coordinate because it's preferable for me to try to use pattern papers from the same coordinating. Uh, usually you can get multiple pattern paper, like a pattern paper pack with coordinating colors, and that's what I like to do for my pages for the most part. And what's also neat about this one is the alphabet dies here. This is alphabet five. And the arrows are from the action border die set. Now, the border dies one by three squares in length. I just took out the little arrows here and placed them on here. And I have the snow, or excuse me, the wave border die here. And all you have to do is lay it over the two by two square and then just trim off the edges either with a knife or even a pair of scissors would work. And what happened was there's this light blue paper and the white did not stand out very well. So I just had the thought to try out outlining everything with a black pen. And it worked out really well. And this is an idea if you're using alphabet letters and you're finding they're not really standing out over your paper to grab a pen. It doesn't have to be a black one. But any kind of pen that will help it stand out a little bit more. And then I have a unique idea here where I wrote some of the journaling over the wave border so it's overall a really fun layout and even though there's a lot of photos going on this gives your eye a break right here that big title area so really fun one fun one to try out for winter time all right this layout was so popular it was a big hit 
uh, with a lot of our customers and I was actually really surprised. I did not expect that at all, but I'm gonna go over what makes this layout pop. And the number one thing people pointed out was the journaling, which I agree with. It is really awesome. I think this is the 30 degrees die and this, this die in the middle is from our Snowflake Trio. But for the journaling, I use this, it's pattern paper from Simple Stories that looks like lined paper for journaling, which is awesome for dies like 30 degrees because you have to cut, you know, journaling in this awkward space and it made it so much easier. So I know adding the journaling really makes this layout pop a lot. And the colors are so fun. This background is 12 by 12 grape from our Fresh and Fruity collection. I love Fresh and Fruity for winter layouts. All the colors are very pretty. If you think winter is dull and boring, and of course you can use Fresh and Fruity for other themes other than winter, but if you're finding your winter pages are dull and bo boring, go grab the Fresh and Fruity collection and they will never be boring. <laughs> they are great colors and they are a little bit different from the norm. And so I love this multicolored background paper. And I also chose another multicolored paper. I Yes, this is the back of our all season collection, actually. I use one of the colors from all season that's mostly a pink color. And I felt like it's not super contrasting on the grape. It's more of a more subtle difference, but I thought it worked because the photos still pop a lot on this layout. And I, you may not see this online too much, but I did add a little bit of sparkle in my snowflake and I added these fun dots, which sometimes adding dots like this can look busy, but because the colors really, they're not really that all over the place. It's not, nothing about this page really says loud. So I feel like the stickles worked without feeling too busy, but this was a really, really fun one. It turned out really great. And uh, man, 30 degrees is a great dye. And I also forgot to mention that this paper I use, I think it's more like a foil paper, but it's a copper color paper and you can see how shiny it is. And you can't really see that online. So I thought it'd be fun to show this one in a video so you can really see the full effect here. And I definitely would not use this kind of paper on every layout, but it totally worked out for this one. The colors just look so good. All right, this next layout, we are jumping into our spring pages. And this was a surprise favorite of mine. So if you don't know what this die is, it's our brick die. And for the first time, I used it for sort of this a mosaic look so we'd make a lot of mosaics with like our one inch grid die but you can get that effect with the brick die it's obviously going to look a little bit different but basically I took like up here there's three different photos and I used the die to kind of help blend them together and I did the same thing on the bottom and that was my first time doing that with the brick die and I'm going to tell you it was so easy I mean, for one thing, I think because they're larger pieces, it's really easy to get them cut and glued down, maybe a little bit more than the grid die. But I was really shocked how well these blended together. And so I would say give it a try. If you really like the mosaic look, get the, give the brick die a try. You may absolutely love it. You may find it very easy to use. Seriously, I was amazed. <laughs> but what's also great about this layout is... Here I have a color from our happiness collection. It goes from blue to purple. It's a very nice spring color, the green. So you do want to look at your photo, especially if you're doing a mosaic where the photo is gonna actually be glued around the grid paper without a mat. And see if the photo pops on that paper. And I just love how the greens look on top of this color here. And it has a very springy feel. And I found some coordinating pattern paper that continued those cooler colors. And I found paper mats that kind of, they're a similar, I would say, hue to this purple over here, but obviously a darker color. And so everything, what's working here is everything, including the photos, coordinates so well. I think this is what makes it a great layout. It's everything the photos, the paper, the background, the pattern paper even, they all coordinate and make this page feel very cohesive. So I love it for that reason. And the brick style obviously makes it really amazing. 
All right, so the first few layouts were all made by me, but I'm also going to be showing layouts made by the other designers here at Mosaic Moments. So this page was made by Jody, and it actually features a new die called Floral Swag Frame. It's a really neat die, so the die is four by six, so here's the frame die. And then the die set also comes with all these little pieces, like the flowers and the greenery. So this size set's great if you really like to embellish your pages, especially if you like to heavily embellish them. This is a great one. But what makes this layout pop? Well, first of all, it's those black and white photos. If you've never made a page of black and white photos, I recommend trying it out. And what I love about using black and white photos is you can get into the brighter colors and you can see these black and white photos really pop on those bright pinks and bright blues which with color photos may seem a little bit overwhelming and too much, but the black and white, it kind of balances with those bright colors. So the, the photos stand out a lot and the colors don't seem too much. I really loved what she did here. She really framed the flowers up here really well and I love how it's balanced. And she did the same thing here. So this page is very balanced. She used a little bit of gold paper. The previous couple pages ago had that copper foil paper. This one's the gold. And she didn't add the shiny here, but she found a similar, it looks like kind of gold color. And I love how she put the word family here. It fit in that spot so perfectly. It's a great title. So this page really stands out to me for the most part because of the black and white photos and the amazing pops of color and the balance is so good. All right, this one was made by designer Lauren, and this was a really fun one. This is also a new die we came out this year. This one's the small pie die, and Lauren, so the pie die obviously makes a big circle and kind of looks like a pie on your page, but Lauren did something a little different and put the pie die in each corner, and I love how it makes the layout kind of have this rounded corner look. But also what's fun here is all the fun colors. Obviously, this is a page with a baby. You tend to either, well, there's two ways you can go with babies. You can kind of, you know, most people go pastel, but it's also fun to work with the bright colors. And I love how she used this pattern paper with these tiny, tiny letters. I believe it's from Bella Boulevard. It's perfect for a toddler. I think the uh, series was intended for toddlers and preschoolers. And I really love how she filled in these sections with all the little books he has. It was a great filler for those sections. And it's such a fun page. And originally when she made this, you can see she has kind of a navy blue. Before she had a navy blue that was a little more grayed down. And I asked her to change it because the gray down tone kind of made the page a little more mature for this little guy. And I just felt like we need to change something. <laughs> and we had a blue that was just a little less gray and a little more bright. So even though the two colors were actually kind of a navy blue, it made a huge difference to pick this kind of less gray, brighter one for this layout and made all the difference. So even if you have two colors that are very similar, like two cardstock colors, one can really outweigh the other depending on what your photos are. All right, so I have a like three in one right here. I wanted to share this. If you haven't seen it, we came out with the Shoreline collection this year and I could not just pick one. They are so good. And I'm going to tell you when this first came out, I kind of thought that if you look online, to me, the grid paper looked busy and I was kind of worried how is this going to work. But once I used them, I was blown away. I love all our grid papers, but this, this collection really blew me away. And I'm going to talk about why these three pages particularly stand out. So this one is from Shoreline, and you can see it has a grassy look. I'll show the back here. And I looked at this paper, and I was like, I got to use that for a zoo paper. And this is of Animal Kingdom, which is a theme park, but it's sort of kind of a zoo and a theme park combined but either way this this page just blew me away what's working here is there even though there's this green 
I found this paper that fits so well. It fits perfectly and it fits so well with the Animal Kingdom theme. It's very mature looking. You see a lot of scrapbook papers that are, you know, not that mature looking <laughs> for zoo stuff, but this one's from Bo Bunny. I find their stuff to be a little more mature, but I love how it's not this straight orange or straight red or something. This is kind of like a golden orange color and it looks, it just looks so good on this green. I mean, this page just really pops. I mean, every time I look at it, I'm just amazed. It just looks so good. These colors just went so well together. All right, here's another one with the Shoreline Collection. This one has these waves here. I love this one too. I just love looking at the paper. The paper, what I love about the Shoreline Collection is the pattern adds texture to your page. And even though everything else, like if I had just put this on regular grid paper, I feel like the page would have looked very flat, but because I used this shoreline paper, it looks amazing. I mean, really, I think any other color, the bright red and navy blue kind of would have just looked boring. Uh, and obviously red, white, and blue looks very patriotic, but when I look at this layout, I don't think patriotic at all. And I think it's because of this background and it made all the difference. I mean, really just one little change can make a huge difference in your layout. And I have this bright red here and this dark blue, but over this, this is kind of a medium blue and it has so many different tones in here. There's light and medium blues going on. So even this bright red seems less overwhelming, I feel like because of that. So that's what's working here. All right, this lamp was also created by designer Lauren. And I honestly think what makes this page is the background. This is another color from Shoreline and I'll show you the back and you can see all the multiple tones going on in here. A little bit of brown, a little bit of pinks going on. And it really makes this layout pop. And I love, this kind of is a unique color combination here. She put in white and she put in, this is the back of our Nantucket paper actually called Fairy Ride. So it's sort of a, like, kind of a darker aqua color. And I think it turned out really good on this page. So I, overall, I just, I think if you use Shoreline, you can't really go wrong. I mean, it just makes everything stand out so much more. All right, this page is from designer Jody, and this is showing the new Ripples die set that came out this year. And this page blew my mind. I mean, seriously, when I saw this, I was like, wow, this page is amazing. Uh, we made a lot of pages with this set, more than we usually do when we make new dies. But this page looks so good. The pattern she chose was amazing to get all those ripples equally around the layout it just looks so good and it does use red white and blue but it doesn't feel patriotic at all to me and i really like this pattern paper even though it's really subtle it's kind of like a nice little surprise behind the photo here i really like that and there's just a lot of fun layers going on i don't I feel like because she put in this blue paper around here, I love how it frames that center photo. And even though there's a lot of color in this page, it doesn't look overly busy. And it's so fun. I I was blown away when she made this page. So I loved it very much. And Ripple's dye was a great dye this year. All right, the last two are fall pages, and both of them were made by designer Jody. And I'm going to talk a little bit about why I really liked these pages so much. So this page right here actually shows the new stitched pumpkin die. <laughs> a lot of our pages this year that stood out have the new dies, I guess. But when I saw this, what I first thought of was fall. Like this page says fall to me. I just loved it. I just felt like I want to go get some hot cocoa. And <laughs> this is what I felt like. I mean, she made this pretty early in the summer, but I was like, oh, I look at this page and I just already want fall to be here. And for the background, she used pumpkin pie, which I love for fall. If you don't have pumpkin pie in your collection, you should get it right now. <laughs> it's a great color for anything fall. 
What I also love is she used the back of our denim paper that's in our weekends collection and it fit this page perfectly. And of course, denim is going to be great for any fall layout. And what I love about it is pumpkin pie's kind of an orange color and the denim is definitely a blue. So you get those complementary colors on here without it. So complementary colors, like if you put bright red on bright green, it's usually going to be very overwhelming but i love these two as a complement because it doesn't feel too much and that is the trick when you're using complementary colors is you don't necessarily use two bright colors you may want one to be grayed down and the other one could be bright so but here they're both kind of grayed down the denim's a little bit bright but i think that's part of the reason why it stands out because she used those complementary colors and I just love the denim paper. It really added to this page a whole lot. So I think it's really fun when you're making a layout, if you love pattern paper, to use a texture pattern paper like wood or denim. And I have some with burlap, you know. I would try to collect some of those because they look so good on pages. They're usually a nice neutral. And they really help pages pop, in my opinion. But this page looks great. I love the pumpkins, love the denim. It's awesome. All right, this is the last layout of this video. This layout also shows a new die from this year. It's called Barcelona. And of course, if you know Barcelona, it's based on Spanish designs. Although this layout is not Spain, it is actually Italy. But Jody did such a good job with this layout, I must say. And Barcelona is just a level one die, but it looks so, so good. And we have some pattern paper here that's inspired by Italy. So, of course, it was perfect for this layout. She has this green here that's a very... This is from our Renaissance Revival collection, and it's kind of this earthy green. It's not an overly bright, over-the-top green. So... What I like is she has this pattern paper here with these bright blues and she continued the bright blues in the Barcelona dyes. And I love the brown cardstock she chose. This is kind of like a reddish earth tone brown and it, it looks really good here. It's kind of got an orangey feel to it. I mean, this page just says it'll to me. And I loved how she has this yellow, which I'm assuming is kind of a sunflower color and she took chalk ink and added a little distress will add a little bit of brown to give it that old world feel and that's what I love about this layout it has this old world feel you feel like you're like right in Italy and I just love how she added these little jewels stickers to the Barcelona it really made it it's a really tiny thing but sometimes the tiny things say the loudest words you know it just like it's this little thing but you just like oh I just love that little surprise you know so this page is just the colors are so good the theming's so good like it says that old world feel the theming matters on your layouts and this one was so good all right I hope you enjoyed this video so much and that you gathered some new ideas and fun inspiration for this coming up year 2024 and whenever you're watching this video and if you have any questions let us know in the comments below thank you so much for watching